Hello everybody and welcome back to another showcase. Today we are checking out Pure Isaac. This character is really interesting. So we have the Well Loved Dice here, as well as Goat Head apparently. But the Well Loved Dice is going to do something interesting. If we use it, it will roll. And as you can see, it said health-based items. That means that the next time we use the Well Loved Dice, it will give us an item of that type. But the interesting thing is, it's based on the room type that we're in. So if we do it in the treasure room, it'll be a treasure HP item. If we do it in the devil deal, it'll be a devil deal HP item. And if none exists, it will give us a completely random item. So, pretty interesting idea. It allows us to kind of theme our runs a little bit and see, uh, see if we can get something rather intriguing off the bat. Uh, and as you'll notice as well, our uh, item rooms do not have items in them. They are just filled with batteries, which uh, makes it so that we're going to get less items overall, I think. But, but, we should be able to target items more specifically. Especially with some of the different 1 through 6 results. I'm pretty sure there's like, familiars in there. I'm pretty sure 6 is like quality 3 or, f three or 4 items. And of course, there's a few others in there as well. Also, there is other ways to get items. We can still get items from the shop and stuff like that as well. So, it's not like every single item is completely replaced. But I'm, I'm looking forward to, to learning this guy and trying to figure out how we can take advantage the most. That battery there is uh, rather intriguing to me. To be fair, Ventricle Razor is equally as intriguing. So, let's, uh, let's see if we can get one more penny so we can... I think it was on sale, actually, so I don't even need the one more penny. I just need the charges so that I can not waste a battery. So the the health item, I'm just going to use in a random room. I uh, could get, like, Thunder Thighs or something. There's, there's quite a lot of HP items, to be honest. I don't know if it means specifically items that give you HP or just that are HP-related, because, like, Charm of the Vampire technically is a HP item, if you think about it. So I, I don't know what we're going to get. Um, but best not do it in a boss room, because then we'll just get a regular HP item. So we'll do it in here, and we'll get Brittle Burns. Brittle Burns is... Uh, pretty darn good. In fact, I'll probably just get rid of all of those burns pretty much straight away. Um, and then we'll take this. Is an 8 room charge that doesn't fully charge us. And Ventricle Razor allows us to get into our uh, cash rooms for free. Although, for right now, I'm just going to walk into them because I want to get rid of these burn hearts. For the fire rate bonuses. What on earth is that? I don't know. Um, I don't actually know what I want to go for here. Honestly, considering that's intriguing to me. I'm gonna go for it. Adds an item to the player from all item wisps. Adds items to the player from all item wisps. If player doesn't have any item wisps, a random wisp is added. Interesting. Very intriguing. You got a cracked key here as well to utilize somewhere. I honestly don't really know where to be honest. Hmm. Intriguing. It's not going to be there, is it? I'm trying to think where uh, our ultra secret room was mo could be most likely to be. Probably not here, but I'll try it. Yeah, it wasn't. But red key could be really good because extra rooms, extra charges. Anything that could give us extra charges would be really, really good for us here. The more charges, the better. Right, let's get rid of the rest of these burn hearts. It's good that we have some soul hearts to alleviate brittle burns being too bad, but pretty good HP item to get, to be honest. Pretty good HP item to get. Familiars next, okay. Right, uh, I'm gonna get rid of these other two burn hearts. Put that down there so I can get back quicker. Easy. Right. Let us go. And we will go this way because we've got the new Mortis floor to check out again. We might as well see if we can see it another time because why not? Mortis is fun. I really enjoyed it in the last episode. So we've got Familiars this time. Two batteries there. Okay, that's a choice, I see. <laughs> you get a choice of batteries. That's kind of funny. So I'm trying to think what room pool we'd want a Familiar from. Cash room could be good for like Blood Puppy. Um, Devil Deal is obviously really, really good, considering we have Goat Head. There's a lot of good familiars. In fact, I probably will do Devil Deal, considering we've got um, Goat Head here. I think we're, we're likely to get the best thing here. Only thing is, the longer you leave it, the um, less charges. You're going to waste charges, essentially. 
Guess I'll just pop a death card in the next room. Never really save deaths for anything spe uh, specific. I should save them for big rooms or rooms like this, but I always just use them as I get them. I'm liking having Blood of the Martyr here, so I'm really hoping I don't lose that. But so far, I'm, I'm really liking the fire rate we gained. Hey, the boss is right there. We're not, not going to waste uh, too many charges. Only one pip. Right, because we know the next one's familiar. Let's hold off here. We should be able to kill this guy reasonably quickly. As long as we don't go into the tail phase too fast. There you go. We're into tail phase now. So hard to deal damage to him during this phase. And he's basically dead now. Oh my god, he went straight into the water there. I wasn't expecting that. Stop summoning other things, buddy. There you go, we got him. Bad item there, but take it. And then we come in here and we pop this. Oh, dude, we got Johnny's knives. Oh my god, that's an amazing one. Two flying familiars that deal damage on contact when killing uh, enemies with spawn with a knife spawn a pool of red creep that damages enemies. The size of the creep depends on the enemy's mass. When an enemy is killed by knives, gain tears for the rest of the room. Dude, that is awesome. That's really good. Yeah, Johnny's knives are a really, really good item and a quality four as well. Yeah, as you can see. Some really, really good damage. We've augmented ourselves very, very nicely here. And we are ready to continue. I think this is going to be a pretty fun run by the looks of it. And yeah, like, I like this idea of, yes, you're going to get less items. Your item rooms don't have items in them. But you can kind of target farm. You can, like, target specific items. Obviously, not super specific. It'd be really hard to get the exact thing. But there is some some scenarios. Um, like, secret room might not have that many HP items, for example, and there's certain ones in there, like Black Lotus, that could be really, really good kind of thing. Where there's, there's, there's certain ways to sort of target certain items. I like the idea. Golden Pill, a little risky, but it can give us charges, so I'll take it. Dude, the amount of balls of steel we're getting right now is, uh... Okay, that was overall very good. Blood clot, lovely. Extra charges here as well. Our knives are doing good stuff. You keep going nice, you keep slicing and dicing. There you go, get some tears for the rest of the room. Health based item again. So health base is kind of the one we don't want now because we've got enough health. But it gave us brittle burns before. Like I said, it's not just HP ups. There's some interesting ones. In fact, I'm going to try and do a secret room item if I can for the next one and see what health base. I know, I know like there's Black Lotus in there, but I'm trying to think. There could be some other stuff in there that could be really good. Some stuff that I may be forgetting. Ow. He smacked me right on the bonds with that. The fact that these go through walls as well makes them just great for just holding down at all times. I'll, I'll take it for now because I can just drop it when I find an all-star stuff. So I can still drop Yeah, I can drop it. Yeah, I'm just making sure that I could. But, seemingly we are good to go here. Can we have a, a run where we get all of the alt floors? We've got boiler so far, so there's a chance. I'll come back to that battery, actually. I'll get the big one. I'm guessing bigger batteries are for higher quality items. Like uh, quality 3 or 4, it's one's a bigger battery kind of thing. I want to see if I can fill the battery before I grab that full battery. 
large rooms are actually really nice for us here. Okay. Into the large room seat. As I was just saying, very good for us. No, we lost our damage. Right, check what's going on rest of this area. Ooh, secret room here that I did not see. We'll go with that. We will check out... Ah, oh, that was stupid. We'll go check out our uh, secret room and see if we can get a cool health item. You see what I mean? <laughs> you see what I mean? Binge, binge Eater is an item I didn't even consider. I didn't even think about. But, very, very good health item. Very, very good health item indeed. Yeah, so far, I'm in love with this character. <laughs> Obviously, our luck has been very high. Brittle Burns, Johnny's Knives, and... Um, and Binge Eater, I'd say are a pretty unlikely pull. Uh, two quality fours and a quality three. Uh, but the chances are there, people. The chances are there. It's not impossible. This guy again. Are you kidding me, Captain? I just fought this geezer. I mean, it's a different version of him, but I basically just fought him. He's essentially the same guy. Come on, dude. Hey, and we got Whirling Leech from him. Um, I think I'd probably rather take lunch, to be honest with you. And then here will be a battery, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, come on. There should be some protection from that, right? Ah, oh, that's, that's just cheap. <laughs> that's just cheap. I bomb open that. I want to just check something here. I very, very highly doubt this works. But I've never tried, and I'd like to. Right, come here. Go in here. Pop ventricle razor down. Then go out this way. Through here. Pop my other razor down. Okay, no, it doesn't. I was maybe thinking I could get straight into the item room super, super fast by doing that. And tainted lost items. Whoa, what? What the fuck's that? Jelly filled donut. Okay, I can't take the jelly filled donut, obviously, but I'm gonna do some extra rooms here because why not? Considering there's some large rooms to go at, I think it's worthwhile. Do wish I had my damage up there. Missing that damage up. Guys getting pushed about, it's kind of funny. Tinted lost items, okay. Where would we want a tinted lost item? Devil deal, I guess? Try devil deal. Higher quality. Could be of higher quality, so give it a go. Do I want to do the the, uh, the boss again? Yes, I do, because I've got thingy, haven't I? It's not a hard boss. It shouldn't be, at least. I should bomb him as well. Make it a little easier for ourselves. Oh, really? That's not how that was meant to go. Chase me! Stop going under the goddamn... Oh, man. Why is it not chasing me? 
There you go. That'll make my life at least a little bit easier. And we get ourselves damage and tears. I think I'm going to take the damage and tears, to be honest. Which give us neither damage nor tears. Hmm. <laughs> that That's not how that's meant to work. I don't know why I didn't get damage or tears from that. That's kind of upsetting. Oh, dude, I'm such a fool. I've missed out on so many stat increases from this. Okay, no. Okay, the stat increases do still count. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> I thought I'd really messed that up there. Forgot to drop the trinket, but luckily the stat increases have still actually counted. Good. Oh, I thought I'd lost out on so many stat increases there. That would have been a tragedy. Pretty good idea for a trinket, to be honest. Helps you out early game. Doesn't do much late game. What's this cross do? Enemies that come close to you. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it out. Why not? Let's go down here. Let's go, baby. Let us go. Hey! So we got Grotto as well. Can we get the trifecta? I don't think there's a alt mausoleum floor yet, but I'm pretty sure it is coming. Oh, dude, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. That was an amazing bomb as well. I found pills and ate them. Not much from there. What am I gonna get next? Take some damage I shouldn't be taking at the moment, but it's okay. Look at that enemy, that's so cool. Quality assured. That's a quality three or four item. Okay, where do we want to go for that? I guess secret room is the most logical, right? Taking some rough damage here. Look, I have a lot of health to work with. What's that other item? 25% chance to shoot a black tooth tier. I'll, I'll grab that if I get enough money. If I get the money for it, I'll be sure to grab it. Quality assured. What a great one to get. Got to roll a six, though. Imagine, though, you just roll six is like the whole run. Anything, any battery items are going to be so good on this guy. Considering you can still buy from the shop and get your battery items. Do I actually need to kill these guys that are circling around? I can't tell. No, I don't. I didn't think I did. Right, we really need to find a secret room here. Because I want to use my quality assured thing. There you go. Look at all the funky, wonky little mushrooms. <gasps> oh my god, that's good. Touching enemy charms it. Charmed enemies can spread um, by touching each other. Charm effects are permanent. It's not the best, but it's interesting. The fire rate we have right now is absurd. 48 hour energy is so perfect.
Why? Put your head down, sir. Why? Six again. Give me another six. Ah, health based. Um, I don't really know where to go for that. Not really sure where to go with that one. Ah, oh, I'd have a bomb for that. I wanted to do that room as well. Right, let's have we not get enough money though. We have another 40 energy here though. I guess I'll just pop it in here and see what I get. Caprice, oh man. Amazing I am. <laughs> this has been very, very good. Yeah, the Caprice is, um, I think I can negate one hit per room or something like that. While the Caprice is active, plus one damage, um, speed multiplier, blocks the first damage taken in a room, reactivates. Basically, it's like better Holy Mantle. Right, pop yourself back up, good sir. Ooh, you are getting large and in charge. Have I fought you before? I don't know if I have. That's a lot of maggots, good sir. Holy hell. He's spewing them out. Wrapped candy we'll go for. Lost item again. Oh man, this run is spicy, very, very spicy. I liketh a lot. I liketh a lot and a lot. Spe especially considering we get to see some of the cool flaws and stuff too. I need to be using this more often. I've not really used this this run. It's useful as hell. Dude. A blood Pact gives you, gives you an exponential tier bonus based on how many red hearts you have. The player has 0 0.6 damage every part container. Okay, that seems very good. Yeah. That's a lot of fire rate. <laughs> Our fire rate is very high now. And considering the item that we have, uh, that gives us basically constant red hearts all the time, it's only likely to get higher. Let's keep it going there. This has been a just a fantastic run. <laughs> Truly. I do want to make the charmed item thing work more I touch enemies, but touching enemies hurts. I got tainted lost item this time, didn't I? Do you really stole my charge? Tainted lost item. I'm going to do that in a regular room, see what I get. Use mascara? Yes, please. Half my fire, but double my damage. Go on. Hit me with it. Not even quite half my fire rate either. Yeah, things are going to die fast now. I'm not sure if Johnny's knives scales with our damage at all. Shows your love. I don't know what that is. Shows your love. Shall I, shall I have a little look? See what that what that is. Five spawns one to three random hearts. You troll. I didn't. 
I, I, I don't know why I didn't think there'd be a troll one in there. Oh, I went to the wrong floor as well. My bad. Um, one oh, minute. I need to go, to go um, stage 5C. Um, and I just hurt myself twice to get rid of the two hearts I should have gotten rid of. Didn't really work. <laughs> I tried. That does get rid of fire, right? Okay. I won't do that then. I need to hurt myself. <laughs> Just get rid of the soul hearts, essentially. Right, there you go. I've paid my due to get in here. That's just for the two parts I should have spent on the uh, mausoleum door. Six point one five fire rate with Eve's mascara is absolutely ludicrous. I get more fire rate from losing burn hearts. You know what? Lose me this burn heart too. It's interesting, because I lose and gain fire rate from losing burn hearts. I gain it permanently, but I, I lose it because of the uh, heart container lost from that packed item. Those two items work together in a weird way. Okay. Whoa! What are you doing, fella? Oh, that was too much damage to take. God damn it. Gats to be more careful. Okay. Grab that. Fire rate is back up to its uh, higher levels. Lovely. And we can keep this trainer roll in one second. Right, we're good to go. What do I need to kill here? Oh, the button. I did not see the button. The button is fine. Oh, no, let me in the circle. Finally. Right, we are back. I apologize. Um, I unfortunately paused the recording, like, halfway through the video and didn't realize. So, I've had to essentially recraft the run um i've given myself back all the items because luckily i had the video recorded so i was able to do so um but yeah not not what i was planning to do at all so i, I do apologize that, that was the case there um i didn't mean to uh <laughs> set it up to, for a situation where you guys didn't see it but i did actually finish out the run but we'll be finishing it out once again because i cannot have an incomplete run for you guys on youtube i have to I can't just let the recording end where it ends. I want to show off the rest of the stuff and finish out the run. Um, what's the best way to do this? Oh, I've got to get the little fly dude to bomb all of this, don't I? Okay, that wasn't actually too hard. I thought it was going to be way harder. Cool. But yes, we'll of course be still using our dice. We've got health based this time around. We won't need it quite as much this time around. Um, because we've already got most of our items. We can kind of take it, give it a bit of a backseat. Um, to the rest of the the rest of the run and just kind of use it a bit more passively once you've gotten these like crazy good items that we've got something on this level you don't really need to worry about it that much more but I will on occasion come in here and grab the battery charges I'm not gonna just completely ignore it. even the a two pip battery charge doesn't go that far still nice to have but yeah we'll go do uh, the mother fight and we'll uh make our way towards the um I, I meant the mum's heart fight and then we'll make our way towards the mother fight and see if we get ourselves the new floor luckily on the recording that uh that you guys didn't get to see the end of the run from normal we didn't actually get the uh special the new special floor mortis so hopefully this time around we will 
Also, apparently I've got Butt Penny. I don't know where I got that from. But yeah, my stats and everything should be around about the same as they were before. Um, like, I've sort of checked them against the recording, about the amount of health items stuff I had. It seems about right. It's not going to be exact, but it seems about right. There's some items that I didn't give myself back that were like Mum's Heal and Tropicana and stuff like that, but no one's going to fret about those, are they? Um, Devil Deal. I guess I just take this. Oh, that didn't give me a charge. Why? It's kind of rude. <laughs> Anyhow, um, give myself. These are the items I spawned in. Look, um, and then cool. In we go. Cool, you have to run it back. I have since moved my pause recording key, because that's like the third time I've done that over the past few weeks. And I don't even know how, it's not a mistake I've ever made before. Uh, but I've done it a lot recently, so I can't be having it happen again. So now, instead of living with my mistakes, I'm going to try and avoid them. I also noticed as well, uh, in the recording previously, and maybe a couple of my others, there's been a bit more keyboard clackety sounds than normal, so I I'm going to try and look into why that is. I think it's simply just because of the positioning of my microphone versus the positioning of my keyboard. I've pushed my keyboard a little further back and my mic a little forward, so if you guys notice a significant difference between the first, uh, like before I made the cut and after the cut, let me know, because be, it would be good to know. If it's a, a vast improvement or not. Obviously, I know that, like, I'm never going to eliminate them fully. I mean, I've got my microphone literally directly above my keyboard. I think if you watch anyone on YouTube do gaming videos that are playing on keyboard and mouse, especially a game like Isaac where there's no mouse involved, and you expect to hear nothing from the keyboard, um, then you're kind of insane. Uh, but I would like to eliminate it as much as possible. There is definitely ways of, of, of reducing it. Yeah, this time around we did not get the uh, the mortars floor here, but the next time we get the floor we could. Ooh, assured quality six, baby. Assured quality six. Don't mind if I do. I love our fire out right now, the 8.32, it's mad. And the caprice is um or carapace, I think it's called. The carapace is uh doing a very, very good job at making sure we don't lose our health either. Like I said, it's basically a better Holy Mantle. Holy Mantle that gives you stats. And I think, I think it triggers on hit effects too. Because I think you do actually get hit, you just don't lose the health. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I think so. Got a few charmed little fellas from our Patient Zero item. I was wondering when we were going to end up having that. I'd love to get that Patient Zero item on a Tainted Maggie run. Could be pretty interesting. Right. Unfortunately, we've gone around about the worst way possible of this. We'll find our way. We will find our way. Yeah, luckily, I didn't pause too late into the run. It's not like I'm having to redo more than half of it. It's about a third of the run that I paused, essentially. Ooh, our quality three item is ready. I'm just going to pop it on the floor, I think, here. That's a pretty good one. I'll take the wiggly snake, thank you. I will take our Wiggly Poisonous Snake. He's pretty good, and I think he will also spawn other Worm Familiars friends around the room. What are these things doing? They're definitely new. I do not know what they're doing, or what they were doing before the room ended. Ah, that turns all of those off. Nice. This seems like the right way, but I've been wrong before. Should never say that. Whenever I say it, I'm always wrong. Oh, God, that's not my creep. <laughs> I thought Johnny's knives was creating all the creep there. Was not my creep. I do lose my fire rate when I take damage as well, though, so I've got to try and heal back up. Oh, God damn. There's more of them. Dude. Take some rough damage here. Eh. Nah, I'm just going to try and get going. 
get this little fella. He isn't too bad. Although I'm taking some rough damage from him so far. I'm not actually killing him anywhere near as quick as I thought it would be either. And my speed isn't enough to get through this, so I'm just going to have to tank it. Oh my god, this attack is lasting so long. Okay, I, I thought I would have been doing more damage here. I suppose I've lost a lot of fire out when I've been taking damage though, so... Okay, down we go. Hopefully we get some more health. Do we get mortars here? Nah, we don't. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I was hoping, but... Can't always be so lucky. Will we survive this time? I did win last time, I have to say. I did win, which was probably pretty obvious, but... I'm a little skeptical now with my the HP that I just lost. I lost a lot of HP, and... Um, coincidentally with that, a lot of fire rates. I would like to get that back. I'm just too lazy to go fetch it on the last floor. I'd like to just find out on my merry adventure, please. If that isn't too much to ask, uh, game. Seems like it's too much to ask. Oh, why did I walk in front of that? Thank you, Caprice. Whatever. Carapace. It's called Carapace. I keep calling it the Caprice. Once again, thank you, Carapace, for fixing my mistakes. Dude, are we not going to get any health here? <gasps> it's a soul heart that I can't use. What was that item? Was it uh, the, the dice item? Was it tainted lost? I think it's tainted lost item, isn't it? <gasps> health. Boom. <gasps> Slick Spade is pretty good. I, ca I think Slick Spade can give us health as well. Not entirely sure on that, but I think it can. Either way, Slick Spade is good. A little bit more health. And we are on to the boss with not the greatest HP. Let's just try our best. I think one of our big issues as well is, I think I had a lot more f uh, movement speed on my previous run. And I don't on this one. I don't know where I got it from and what, I what item I forgot to give myself. But that's clearly putting a damper on things. Did manage to bleed you. It's nice. Well, it's not really nice right now. You don't really move. But once you do move in your second phase, it's nice. I do, however, like the fact that you're not doing the throw rolling ball attack. It's making my life a bit easier. Our carapace charge is gone. There you go. Second phase. Easy peasy on second phase there. We only have one bomb to work with for second phase though, which on the dashing one isn't the best. Just apply bleed to her as much as possible, so if she does her dash, we do big damage. And I'll be happy. Johnny's nice to do their thing as well. Making my way through this. There you go, you're bleeding now. Okay, this is good timing for the bleeding there, yeah. It's like 10% damage each way. Oh, and we froze her with gold as well. That is some perfect timing there. I've never seen that happen. That was lovely. But as you can see, the damage that we're outputting isn't the best here. She's dying. She is dying, but not as quickly as one might hope. Also, not the attack I want to be here for. This attack I am no fan of. It's not actually that hard. It's just... I don't know, it confuses my little brain. Same with this one, to be honest. This one can really get the better of me here, yeah, like that. We should be okay here, as long as I don't completely cock this up. Either way, I apologize to people for messing up the recording here. But it shouldn't make that much of a difference visually, like, watching-wise for you guys. It just wastes a bit of my time is all. But I've got to make these mistakes to be able to fix them. There you go. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. A lot of fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. We're going to check out some of the other pure characters if you guys enjoyed this one. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.